Thank you for that introduction. Please, uh, quite likely to see that project. Yeah, um, managing trustee, headmistresses of the nursery section, headmistress of the British curriculum, deputy heads, panel of judges, teachers, <coughs> members of non-academic staff, parents, past and present pupils. I begin with the question, why the intervention of the arts, and specifically the discipline of drama and theatre, a, uh, a critical, uh, drama and theatre, a critical and salient factor in primary and secondary pedagogy? Artistic expression is deeply ingrained in our biology and evolutionary development and is a crucial aspect of human existence. Breakthroughs in neuroaesthetics neuro illustrate the transformative power of arts and aesthetics on neurobiology, impacting our physical and mental health, learning, and community building. Beginning with our ancestors huddling together around a fire at the end of the day, they created new forms of community coming together to tell stories, to exchange their fears and discoveries, to sing, to dance, and to heal each other. The arts and aesthetic experiences in all their forms have been used for many purposes, including self-expression, communication, collaboration, reflection, learning, healing, and flourishing. We let the world in through our senses, and knowing how these senses work in through us, these senses work is key to understanding the transformative power of the arts and aesthetics. In these moments of connection, something else happens as well. Our physiology and biology change. Cortisol reduces and dopamine, serotonin and oxytocin increase. These powerful hormones and neurotransmitters are the brain chemicals that enable our bodies to reduce stress, feel a sense of reward and happiness and create strong social bonds, all of which are essential to our individual and social survival. The pedagogic intent of the arts in education can be usefully traced to the democratic notion of active civil engagement, signaled by John Dewey. For Dewey, education is the regulation of the process of coming to share in the social consciousness and the adjustment of individual activity on the basis of this social consciousness is the only sure method of social reconstru reconstruction. Do we recognize that the teacher is not in the school to impose certain ideas or to form certain habits in the student, but is there as a member of the community to select and influence, select the influences which shall affect the student and to assist her in properly responding to these influences. If we look at the idea of the knowledge economy, it is built on the concept that economic growth is good for everybody and that education must contribute to economic growth. So in the context of neoliberal thought, economic growth is in itself desirable and essential. If we look, for instance, at the role of education in Sri Lanka, or in government policy making, or in general education strategies, everything is connected to the impact that education can have on economic growth. And economic growth is the aim of any national policy or strategic plan. So, Instead of saying, for instance, that we must have equal access to health and safety, 
or acceptance to live as first class citizens or the inability or the ability to move more fluidly between social classes or to have access to equal social justice systems or that we take better care of our environment we have enfranchised or naturalized the notion of education for the economic good and economic growth we are entirely immersed in this neoliberal education system that we can no longer think about the arts without demonstrating how it should contribute to the economy. However, we live in a society that has lost its moral compass. All the measures, educational standards in the world will not make our increasingly incoherent society flourish and grow. We live at a time when education needs to serve more than the requirements of the world markets and be part of creating a vision for a society worth living, a worth living in with shared convictions about the kind of people we want to be. Education, as with all social and civic institutions, needs human values. And if drama and theater are about anything, they're about self, society, and human values. But how do we locate an equilibrium or an intersection between these thoughts of education for economic growth and education for public good and social good? In the real realm where technology, arts, health, and science converge, we are beginning to envision a future characterized by the unprecedented expansion of immersive and interdisciplinary arts which are dissolving the boundaries between art and other fields of knowledge. The far-reaching implications of interdisciplinary arts are not just limited to our aesthetic experiences, but are poised to significantly impact health, engineering, technology, and other sectors of society, making way for a more integrative and engaging future. We are standing on the verge of a cultural shift in which the arts can deliver potent, accessible solutions to teaching and learning other disciplines. However, we have been optimizing for productivity. We have been optimizing for productivity. Often pushing the arts aside and creative pursuits to the side to make them a luxury that only a few can or to make them a luxury that only a few can afford to engage in. The arts and critical pedagogy share a common philosophy in both um, The arts and critical pedagogy share a common philosophy in that both are primarily concerned with the ability to name and remake the world. For educationists and philosopher Paulo Freire, the aim of critical pedagogy is to engage people's control over their lives and their capacity for dealing rationally with decisions by enabling them to identify, understand, and act to transform. The educator, rather than uh, deposit superior knowledge to be passively digested, memorized, and repeated, must engage in a genuine dialogue or creative exchange with the participants. The Greeks created the first democracy. They did, they did this not because they had a public assembly and law courts, but because they created the first public drama. Courts and assemblies give only the law, but drama gives justice. We are the dramatic species, and drama is deep in our psyche. It is the only means we have for unraveling and, and reweaving our complex contradictions and visions. Our society thinks in terms of cues, punishments, and gadgets. The Greeks relished their problems and made them creative in the profound liberty of tragedy. We are not restricted to their ideological solutions, but we have the same problems of self and society. After 2,000 years, their drama towers over our stages. 
When this educational drama goes straight to the heart of drama, it seems to me that possibly an answer to this is when it is composed of those elements that are common to both the students and to theatre. When the aims are to help students learn about their feelings, attitudes and preconditions that before the drama was experienced, was experienced that before the drama was experienced were too implicit for them to be aware of. The purpose of drama and theatre in a classroom is to help students to face facts and to interpret them without prejudice so that they develop a range and degree of identification with other people so that they develop a set of principles by which they are going to live. Drama originated from the Greek word dro or dram, meaning I do or act in order to influence. And it is this active doing in drama that is significant to both students and educators. Greek drama put all the great problems of what it is to be human, the question of ethics on the stage, creating a conflict that is enacted both in the play and in the mind or the imagination of the spectator. Theatre, as noted, is the most efficient science system because it can be used to create drama in which the ontological cohabits the existential. To put another way, the conflict that takes place around the kitchen table on a stage must be relevant to the thousands of such kitchen tables on this island and perhaps to millions of kitchen tables around the world. This is why arts and critical pedagogy must be applied to various other disciplines so students have a better understanding of where they are located in that acquisition of knowledge and how they can apply themselves interactively for the greater good of society. For example, drama and theatre can be utilised to create a true civic dialogue that provides a forum for students to express their views, even when they are unpopular or listen to a variety of opinions and try to reach a resolution. The process allows us to rethink our beliefs. We sharpen our thoughts in order to express them clearly. While not everyone may be content with the result, each person has been given an opportunity to make a difference. If nothing else, participants gain a deeper understanding of the central conflict and opposite views. Drama and theatre provide a training ground for real-world problem solving. Through open dialogue, students make meaning of the confusing and divisive world in which we live. Research suggests that creativity and creative literacy has been declining over the recent centuries a trend which shows no sign of abating. But why is this the case? And is there a way of reviving creativity within the confines of the modern world? Imagination represents a specifically human form of conscious activity that can lead children and young adults towards development of higher psychological and mental functions. The conscious ability of the child to move into an imaginary situation from a, real world, from a real world represents a new stage of development. Through imagination, we are able to know the world in a different way. We can reach beyond the present moment and our actual daily lives to envisage possible worlds. To be imaginative is not something distinct from being rational, but rather it is what gives reason, flexibility, energy, creativity, and human value. In fact, it is the imagination, the ability to recognize the other, that makes us human. It creates human value. We call a theater production a play. In other words, theater and drama have the same attributes as play, recreation, creating fictional situations in which real action takes place. Through its movement in the field of meaning then, what is true about play is true of theatre and drama, which is, in this sense, 
which in this sense is the imagination in action, a social act of meaning making in which participants and spectators can also be said to stand a head taller than themselves in terms of both thought and indeed action which can have implications for real life. We live in a world of emails, text messages, social media, and blogs and connect, that connect us in cyberspace, but isolate us in terms of having face-to-face -face conversations about how to solve vital problems. In that context, something profound happens in a classroom when students ask challenging questions, ask heart, share heartfelt comments, and collectively reach a decision about a complex issue. There is also a sense of pride that is palpable in the room at the end of each performance when students have successfully met the challenge. So to conclude, arts and specifically theater in education lets students come to know themselves and their world and their relation to it. That is the only way that they can know who they are and accept responsibility for themselves. The power of the arts is accessible to everyone, everywhere, at any time, offering immediate dividends for individuals and communities. Everyone can develop an aesthetic mindset that puts us on the path to having deeply rewarding and life-sustaining arts and aesthetic artistic and aesthetic experiences. Incorporating the arts and aesthetics in our education and life can be as simple as turning the aperture on a kaleidoscope. Changing your lens in small ways result in new ways of seeing the world. We each have the agency to take actions that move us towards experiences that give us meaning and purpose and help us heal, learn and thrive. It is in this way that simple daily habits become our lives. Thank you, everyone.